Today I want to talk a little bit about security. And the summary of the things I want to talk about are the fallacy of perfect security, uh, why security is a game of costs, uh, go through a little example, and then just a summary. So security itself is about protecting something, right? So there's something you want to protect from some sort of attack or destruction. And the key takeaway is that security is never perfect, right? There's no such thing as being able to provide perfect protection for something. And because of that, security is a game of costs, right? And the idea behind security is making an attack expensive. If an attack is too expensive, then the attacker won't initiate the attack, right? So that means there's a cost-benefit analysis that happens on both sides, both attack and defense. The attacker... Uh, analyzes the situation and they say, I will get a certain benefit if I do this attack and there's a cost, right? And if the benefit is greater than the cost, it makes sense to do the attack. Now on the defensive side, it's the same kind of thing. There are all different kinds of attacks that could happen. And the defenses that you raise are proportional to the benefits that you'll see, right? So let's take a look at this with an example and we'll have a bank. The bank has a million dollars in assets. It spends $10,000 uh, in such a way that it would take a million dollars to rob the bank. And so if the bank only has a million dollars and it costs a million dollars to rob the bank, well, most people are not going to rob the bank. The key word though is we said most, not all. It turns out that it's still possible for the bank to be robbed even though there's no financial benefit. Let's suppose there's some evil guy out there that has a billion dollars in assets, and this guy hates the bank. Well, spending a million dollars to destroy this bank and rob it is nothing to this guy, right? The cost, the cost to him is worth it. So the point of this example is that you have to know what your expected threats are, and you have to prepare for the threats that you expect. And all of this applies to computers too, right? So for any business that you run, uh, having a, uh, uh, deciding what kinds of data that you, extract, that you um, collect from people and store, right? Uh, how you store that data, how you protect that data, the defenses that you do for that, uh, it, all depends on the cost-benefit analysis, right? You, the more data you collect, the more expensive a breach is going to be for you, right? So if you wanna make security inexpensive for you, you need to collect as little data as possible. And at the same time, you need to enact certain security provisions that make it expensive for someone to attack your computer system. So the summary of this is that there is no such thing as perfect security and that the key part of security is about making an attack expensive, so expensive that it's not worth making. And that's all I wanted to say for today.